Welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to take you on a very long journey. Um, I got inspired by this piece after visiting a lot of aquariums here in the Netherlands. And I saw so many vivid colors and so many different things, coral and interesting animals in the sea. And I wished sometimes I could swim with them. I wish I could be an underwater creature that is being part of this very colorful and wonderful world. Um, I don't always manage to draw this good and in this case I have actually got a lot of help from my husband. My husband is also an illustrator and he draws a lot more and this was a collaboration that I've done with him and I really enjoyed so far. So we started off with just sketching the idea, my idea that I had in my head and then we gathered a lot of material and a lot of um, different views and we've done this piece together. He has helped me a lot with the um, actual illustrating part of it because I'm not very good at bodies or humans or faces um, and this is something that he's very good at. Um, so it has been a creation that we've done together and at the end I've watercolored it in the way I see it because he was uh, saying that he would have colored it totally differently. It's so fun to see two different takes on the same piece and how it all looks like. So without much further ado, let's get for those of you who are like, okay, 42 minutes of a speed time, <laughs> that's a long time. Let's get started with a summary. So it all started with line art and line art I asked my husband to do for my birthday because this is the one idea that I had that I really wanted to do. So he helped me with that. And then it comes a frustrating four hours of just doing the water after which I gave up and I was like, why did I ever wanted an A3 painting? Why or oh why? Because it took way too long. Uh, frustration set in, desperation set in. I chuck this painting for a long time. Like half a year later, I start coloring in all the um, awesome coral and awesome underwater scene. And I'm still like uh, desperation again sets in because this takes a long time and then we end up with a final piece a year later which I really like, I really enjoyed but it could have been done like a lot shorter and then the family joins in to actually uh, put this in a frame and have some fun making pictures of it. So if you enjoyed this summary and if you want to stick with me for the next 42 minutes, uh, here we go. So, this piece, I started, I started as an idea in my mind about a follow-up to another painting that I did with a girl in a submarine. I was like, oh, this, this is gonna look so nice and so awesome. And I was asking my husband, can you help me? Because you are really good at making uh, humans' faces, uh, stuff like that. I am not very good at that. I mean, I can draw the coral and, and all of those parts, uh, but humans, not yet. I'm not yet there. So he was like, I'm gonna help you, and uh, we researched together composition, we researched a lot of things, and uh, had a mood board and all that stuff, so he was working on it and I asked him to do this because of my birthday because he always asked, what do you want for your birthday? And I'm always I always want line work so I can color it in uh, because I know he's good at it <laughs> and you know uh, because there was so much detail in this, uh, we also decided it's gonna be an A3 painting. So this is really big. I had to actually take a shelf out of a closet that I have to have a big enough board so I can actually <laughs> make this one. <laughs> Um, so I can tape it to a board and uh, the problem with a big uh, piece like this uh, it kind of lifts off and curls up it, it is what it is with an A3 piece is very different than an A4 so anyway this this is what was idea the idea was that I'm going to paint this water and I'm going to make like make it look like there's um, rays coming and there's like light filtering down and shining upon all of this and the funny part is right about here I should have stopped 
I should have stopped and I should not have continued for uh, hours at an end trying to fix this water. And <clears throat> one good idea that I came up with is I masked all of the coral and, and the girl and um, everything uh, like the edges because if you're building up a piece like this you don't want to go around thing especially since you need it I needed to to do the water so I just I you you cannot do this you will uh, you have to mask so I use masking fluid for this and then just before I started with this down part I should have stopped uh, it was looking wonderful uh, the water really looked like it had rays in it but I just kept going and kept going because I was thinking oh uh, like on the down part it needs to be a uh, different color and it needs to be much darker because it goes into the into the dark and yeah <laughs> as always uh, I need to learn when to stop I, I really need to learn when to stop um, so I think only this water piece took me about four hours I had four hours of footage it's really long it's really long um, so yeah I am sometimes stubborn and I'm sometimes stubborn into my thinking and into my ways and I'm like no I'm, I'm just gonna go with it anyway the piece is also inspired by Aquaman I don't know if you know this <laughs> Uh, but it was that time when Aqu Aquaman came around and I really liked uh, was this girl Mira she she was having this weird dress with with the octopus things and I was like oh I really enjoyed that and I I really enjoyed that movie um, I thought it was so awesome and it kind of reminded me of all those times when I was going to um, to the aquariums <clears throat> and I was really impressed by the colors and by the, the, the awesomeness. Alright, so here is where I'm like, this doesn't have enough, enough rays, this doesn't have enough depth, I need to create more, I need to do more. And I kept going and going and going and going, so, you know. Um, it, uh, it is what it is, uh, hindsight is always 2020. I do not think I would... For now, I'm so much wary of an A3 painting that I'm going to stay away from this size for a long time. I just don't want to spend this much amount of time anymore just doing this because uh, it took me way too long, like literally almost a year to finish and hours upon hours upon hours of making something. and. <laughs> It's not fun. At one moment you go like, I just, I just want this to be over. This is what you're thinking. I just want this to be over. I, I, I don't care even how, how it looks like. But then I was like, oh, but we spend so much time on doing the idea and doing the line work, and it's an A3, and we don't have an A3 printer, so uh, we had to print uh, all of this on A4s and like split it in four and. Uh, line work took so long. I was like, I, I don't want to give up on this piece. I don't want to. I don't want to give up. And it was so nice, like all these details. I just, I just enjoy doing pieces with a lot of details, and I enjoy doing collaborations with my husband. Like, it's so nice when totally two different styles get together and they work so nice. <laughs> it's, it's, it, it's, it's weird. Um, and it's nice and I, we still haven't figured out what is going to be our like art name or future art name and I'm still doing pieces on my own so don't get me wrong I have a lot of pieces that I do own by myself but whenever I have a piece like this that requires like humans or faces or, or anything I, I'm always going to ask him because well he, ha he had more experience than me in this I mean he did finish art school not me anyway uh, I cannot ask him about colors because he doesn't know about colors, he doesn't do, he only does line arts and he only does black and white, so his color ideas are like more like, nah, I don't know what you want, uh, I wouldn't know how things go. He a lot of times goes with instinct, he will look at the piece and go like, 
uh, this doesn't really work or this works okay so I am the kind of the inker we were actually joking that we can make a comic book and you know whenever you're making comic comics um, there's always like there's the person that does the story and there's the inker that does the inking because the person that does the story and does the line art doesn't know how to do inking and vice versa the person that does inking doesn't know how to make so there's always a collaboration in there in uh, in this so this piece was so big that sometimes I had to, to switch it around and this is why it's such a good idea to have a board like this or to have something to tape your painting down because then you can actually switch it around you can actually switch it around and you can actually do some things right so um, I wasn't too worried about the bubbles because I knew that the bubbles I'm going to color in later on I'm going to add white and um, it would have taken way too much time to um, add masking fluid to them uh, so I, I was like I don't care about the bubbles really I can fix those ones later on yeah so uh, you notice 11 minutes in <laughs> we're still going with the water so I was trying to really make it make it pop really add more and more layers this is what I like about this watercolor paper this is Arches watercolor paper 300 GSM cold press man it can hold layers it can hold the water it doesn't peel off i added so many layers to this piece so many layers to this water it just didn't even it went like meh yeah it's okay <laughs> you know i'm always using my uh craft uh, heat tool uh, that usually use for embossing powder uh, idea is always move it around especially when you have a masking fluid because it tends to melt the masking fluid but I since this was taking so long I don't have all the patience in the world to wait for the layers to dry right so just hit it up with a heat tool some people I notice they use hair dryers or something like that but I just, I'm not going to do that so I don't know about you guys if you're working with your significant others or if you're planning to do a collaboration with somebody else I really enjoy collaborations and I really enjoy having fun and and building these pieces because it feels like I'm not alone in this and I'm not the only one that likes this right like my husband liked it um, I liked it uh, was like uh, was really fun and it's really fun how we started with the mood boards and um, we also put um, on our mood boards all the pictures we took when we were going to um, to the aquarium because we had so many pictures of all, all of this stuff that you see are pictures that we actually almost everything that we took so we actually took pictures um, uh, doing this so at this moment I decided I wasn't even going to film it because my camera went out of space uh, and I was like, it's gonna take so long, it's gonna be like a 12 hour film. But after I started doing a lot of these ones, I was like, ah, I just don't wanna lose the footage. I wasn't sure whether I'm going to restart my YouTube channel ever or not. And I was like, I feel like I need to film this because this is really cool. So what I was, I was doing that is I, I uh took out all of the masking fluid so i was left with all the white space and everything and i started um uh, coloring in the coral and funny part is coral is really colorful like everything has so many colors so many things like from greens to blues to like neons i don't have neon colors right i saw for sale a pair of watercolors neon watercolors so i'm thinking like maybe i should buy it for my next projects but i was like i'm gonna go with all bright colors and pinks and and random stuff and it's gonna be all of this um like coral like that looks to be like in the waves and yeah uh i really had fun sometimes it's very therapeutic right but it did take a lot of time it did take a lot of time lots of days so i would do some parts in some days then i would do other parts later on uh sometimes i would not work on it for weeks and then i would restart again 
um, it took a li really long time and nothing to blame but me but I for this such a big piece I do I don't want to say I have a life but <laughs> I, I kind of do <laughs> and I have to work and I have to do stuff I don't have the time always to spend on this um, so this is something that I need to be wary so especially now that I started my YouTube channel I need to be very wary of how much time I spent into this so I cannot be making these kind of big pieces anymore I cannot be making uh, such long illustrations because they take so long then video editing and anything will take even longer than the actual video sometimes because you have to do all of this and I'm not sure if this is necessarily worth it um, worth it in the sense of there's no I mean this is a piece it's not like I'm gonna sell it or anything um, a piece I made for myself so you know from a time perspective I did learn a lot but I could have learned the same things by just doing smaller pieces smaller smaller coral and smaller uh, interesting other stuff right uh, the other interesting part with coloring this is that I um, I decided that I, I was going to use all these bright colors and then I was left with almost no colors to do the... Uh, because I didn't want colors to be close to each other, similar, but so it needed to be all different colors and they shouldn't touch each other, the same color, that, that was my rule, that's always my rule. So then I was like, uh, the idea in my head about the awesome... Uh, so the idea in my head. Oh, I I just <laughs> I thought it wasn't working. The idea in my head about this awesome uh, painting was that I'm going to do this submarine red uh, or reddish brown, right? Um, and then I realized that the down coral is also the same color that I was having planned for the. Uh, for the uh, submarine so this kind of proved the problem when I was painting it because it was kind of getting lost there it was kind of getting lost in the background so I yeah wasn't really happy about it I tried to make it um, and then in the end I had to go in with colored pencils just to deepen the color to make it a little bit stand out from the, all the color around it so this is something that I wish I would have planned better about the colors and maybe I should have started with the submarine first and then build up everything else around it to make sure that because the other pieces are uh, smaller uh, in footprint so I could have fixed them like I could have seen that okay it will be a little bit not standing out so I, I could have fixed it anyway Hindsight 2020, I was not going to start this again. I was not going to do all the work again because it took me so long to do the water. I was like, no, <laughs> no, this is it. I'm going with it. We're going fun. Um, I learned so much on this painting and the things that I learned a lot is how do I do shadows? How do I deepen colors and how do I make extra layers? Um, this is like an awesome piece for this type of learning is like how do i start with a darker color in a corner and i just move it with water and i you know make shading in the same time and all of that stuff like this is going to be uh this taught me so much in this year this taught me so much uh, about it and also taught me how i need to pay much more attention in living white leaving white and leaving other parts in there um, in the sense of I am really bad at it <laughs> I'm really bad at leaving white and I'm really bad at uh, doing this so I need to learn I need to do better so I've decided actually on a, uh, a new series where I'm going to make it as my challenge with flowers to leave as much of white as possible right um, and this is going to be my challenge <laughs> and uh, you know, I'm just gonna go with it. I, I notice what I'm liking and I'm, I'm doing it. Uh, 
now we're moving on to the upper part so i finished the down part kind of uh and then another day i'm just like okay i'm going to start with the upper part and i'm going to continue and this is uh starting to to become really nice i'm reusing the colors i really like the ones that are with the pink coral it's really wonderful really beautiful uh and i'm always mixing new colors mixing new things uh and like again keeping it so that the colors do not necessarily the same colors um come next to each other right this is really important because otherwise everything would be lost within each other the background i'm going to do like sand color and that one i leave as the last part of the background i will not uh, I will not do that until I actually have everything else done and the background is going to be just the last part. Um, with the fishes, uh, which I probably will start soon on, um, they didn't go as fun as I think I, I, I was thinking. I wanted to make them with red, but I chose the wrong red and the wrong kind of like uh, orangey color and they don't really stand out the, the water is so overpowering that those fishes instead of looking like uh, really awesome fish from like the tropics <laughs> they look like really washed out nemos i'm i always say washed out nemos <laughs> yeah uh this is uh, yeah this is the the part where i wasn't doing it really well but all in all with a piece this big, when I was doing it, I wasn't really happy with it. It's interesting. But once I framed it in and I look at it, like it looks much better when you look at it from far away. It's really interesting. And this is something that then my husband told me, yeah, well, we were taught this in art school that like a painting looks really bad from close by always. There's no painting that looks really good from close by but you should always look at it from far away and then you notice the true potential and then you notice how it really looks like and not looking at the piece from close by is very important because then you start noticing all the little things all the little things that you're not happy with all the little things that don't work and it's really important sometimes to just put your painting and step away from it like a couple of meters back and just look at it from from far away and then you go like oh no actually it looks okay actually it's okay so that might help you not hyperventilate as much as i did thinking that oh this is like i spent so many hours on this and it's still not done and it's still not looking nice and all that stuff so when i put it up and i was looking at it i was like okay from far away it actually looks good and then my husband goes like well, yeah, because you're gonna frame it in and you're never gonna look at it very from close by. It's gonna be like people that come and see it from far away or anything like that. So that's an interesting tip that I got. Like if you're doing these big pieces, like always think about it. Um, now, one important thing to mention is because I don't want to talk for the <laughs> all the 40 minutes or so I'm going to leave you uh, with it is one of the things that I'm really proud of in this picture is how I did her dress I was very conflicted which color should I choose for the dress because the colors for the dress are really are really important I didn't know what will stand out against this water everything is blue everything is super colorful what should I do and actually my husband gave me the idea he was like why don't you leave it white i was like i can't leave it white like i will look like not finished white and he's like no 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 but when you draw something white you still add uh you still add the shadows and this is what i did i added the shadows in the white but predominantly the dress is white and this turned out so nice against the 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 background the the all the other colored it actually made it more stand out against everything else and becomes the actual centerpiece <laughs> and uh, this is sometimes a tip that i would give to people when they ask me i would say 
as a tip always uh, think about it maybe lesser color is more important than more color it's weird right it's more more important more color because initially i was thinking should i make the dress purple or green or anything but then that wouldn't have stand out so much as it did when i left it white anyway uh enough talking from my side i think i'm <laughs> i'm starting to get my voice uh, uh lost here i hope that you enjoy the process uh in the continuation uh, it's okay if you don't want to stick longer. It is a longer piece. I still want to have it out there um, It is one of my favorite one and one that I struggled so much and I'm so happy that it uh, it actually ended because I Did frame it in it is a uh, it is here next to me in my classroom always and I always watch it and I was thinking Wow, I'm amazed I never give up, given up because I was like so stubborn. I'm gonna finish this because it took me so long already that I'm not, I'm not gonna give up. I'm just gonna continue. So this is like a lesson learned. Do it smaller, do it smarter, but still I'm glad I never given up. Yeah. Uh, thank you so much. Uh, and I'm going to say a few words probably at the end. Uh, but yeah, I leave you with some awesome music. Please chill out, leave it in the background and just have fun.
Hello everyone, I hope you really enjoyed this video. I know it's a little bit longer than usual, but the reason for that is the original video footage is more than 20 hours long. And I know it's a lot, and it took me almost a year to finalize this piece, majority of the time because I'm, I was so in love with the ink drawing that I just couldn't get into the watercoloring because I was too afraid to ruin it. However, thank you so much for sticking until the end, and if you are still here and you would like to see more of this type of content, please don't forget to subscribe and click on the notification bell. It really helps to get the word out whenever I have a new video. Um, if you enjoyed this piece, don't forget to leave a comment. And if you'd like to continue the journey with me, there are some videos here that you can continue on. Some of which uh, might look similar to this one and some totally different. Thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you next time. Bye!